In this video, we're going to attempt to draw a picture of the solutions to the equation 2x minus 3y equals 6 by using a t-table to get our graph started. When we make a t-table when the equation does not have y by itself, we want to pick our values for x carefully so that our y values don't become ugly fractions. One value for x that I always suggest trying is 0 because that will always be an easy value to plug into the formula. For our other two values, what I usually suggest doing, while we can technically use any number we want, I usually suggest taking positive and negative whatever is in front of y. My reason for this is it tends to reduce the amount of fractions we need to work with in the problem. Not always, but it does tend to reduce the number of fractions we have. So because there's a 3 in front of y, we're going to use negative 3 and positive 3 for our values to plug in for x. Again, we can plug anything we want in, so we try to pick convenient numbers plugging these in for the x. So we have 2x, the first value for x we have on there is negative 3 minus 3y equals 6. That would be negative 6 minus 3y equals 6. So if I add 6 to both sides, we get negative 3y equals 12, divide by negative 3, and we get y equals negative 4. When x is negative 3, the corresponding y value is negative 4. The second value we want to plug in for x in this equation is the 0. So we have 2 times x, or 2 times 0, minus 3y equals 6. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, so we're really left with negative 3y equals 6. Divide by negative 3, we get y equals negative 2. So we'll plug negative 2 in for our y value. When x is 0, y is negative 2. Our last number to plug in for x is 3. 2 times 3 minus 3y equals 6. So we have 6 minus 3y equals 6. Subtract 6 from both sides to get negative 3y equals 0. Divide by negative 3, and we get y equals 0. So when x is 3, y is corresponding with a value of 0. This then gives us our three points, which we hopefully will be able to connect to get our line that represents the solutions to this equation. The first point is negative 3, negative 4, which is left 3, down 4. The second point is 0, negative 2. That would just be down 2. And the last point is 3, 0. That would just be to the right 3. And notice we can connect those dots if I can draw a straight line. You'll have to work with me on this. And this straight line represents all the possible solutions to this equation. Again, any point on the line should give us a true statement. For example, this point out here is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, comma 4. That should work in this equation. When x is 9, y should be 4. Let's check it. 2x, or 2 times 9, minus 3y, or 3 times 4, should equal 6. 2 times 9 is 18, minus 3 times 4 is 12, and sure enough, we get 6 equals 6. Any point we pick on this line, when plugged in for x and y, will give us a true equation. We found that by using a t-table of using several values picked almost randomly for x, 0 and positive and negative what's in front of y is a good suggestion, and then replacing x with that number to find what y corresponds with it.